So what are you doing today, Maureen? It's strawberry season and we've been getting a ton of strawberries. We've been taking them in and freezing them so that we can collect them all together. But with strawberry plants come strawberry suckers. I've talked about strawberries on other videos and explaining that your strawberry plants only basically have a three year cycle. And so you get the first year and you get the mama, the grandma, and then the great grandma. You still might get strawberries, but after that, they're mostly just sending out suckers. So then after year three, you have no more strawberries. So the best thing to do is to start collecting the strawberry suckers so that you get free strawberries. A strawberry plant will just root itself, but because I keep this controlled in my bed, I like to cut them off. So growing up, my mom had just always said, pull the suckers because it's taking from the plant. But in all honesty, it's trying to create more life and keep itself alive because it knows it has a shelf life. And recently I just watched a video by my good friend, John from Will It Grow? And this was a little tip I didn't know that when you're going to clip your sucker off, so it's coming here from the plant, but it actually is starting a second root. So something like this, we would want to leave on there till it's had a chance to grow. And you can see it is actually pretty tiny. So this one here, we're gonna be able just to go ahead and clip it from the plant. Now, if some of mine want to root, I'm okay with that too but I just look at this as an, a great opportunity so that you can propagate some of your own strawberries for use, but also that you can sell them or give them away to people who don't have any strawberries. From my strawberry tower, it looks like I just have one here. Oh, it's from the other side. <laughs> there we go. With this strawberry tower, I don't really want them to start in here, but if they do, I'll just take them out and repot them because this will be the last year for us to use this strawberry tower. The slats are all cedar, so they're all just fine and as is just the plywood, but we just chose to use press board and so it's on its uh, last legs this year. A little, it's not quite spongy, but it's getting spongy. So we'll take it apart. We'll salvage the wood, but we just need to do something else for the backdrop. So I also have this alpine strawberry, and it just is prolific with the strawberry suckers. The strawberries are teeny tiny, and it'll get probably about three times the size of this, and they taste like pineapple. Mmm, pineapple strawberries. So looking at the amount of suckers I have on here going around, I think I'm just gonna take this whole plant with me. I have one alpine strawberry that I grew from seed, and this one, I got from my good friend who's a professional gardener here on Vancouver Island. And he got it from a Shishi Poo Poo restaurant. He gave me one starter plant last year and this is what we've come up with now. It's just wonderful. Look at all of the suckers on this. This is just absolutely fantastic. And uh, good thing I brought the plant over because it was all woven through the yarrow. So this would be great for me to trim off all of these. I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim these right off. Uh, as they are, you know, quite long. Oh, this one here has already started to fruit. Wow. So I have some old little pots that I got from the side of the road, basket that I got from the side of the road, and our plants. And we're just gonna scoop up our soil and place it on our tray. I'm going to use the light green ones for the bigger ones because I didn't get as many because normally I just take them all off and so that little tip of John told me not to do that. I'm just going to place it into our soil, clip off the end. So I thought I was going to have a whole lot more and I was just getting tired of stepping on them all the time as they were coming out the path. So you're just clipping it off and you're going to put it into the soil and it's just gonna take care of itself and root. My pots are free, my soil is free from my chicken coop playground where it had wood chips in it and with the girls, they're all walking around on it, scratching and breaking it down and of course leaving their poop, making some excellent soil. Looks like I'll need just a couple more of the light green ones. Actually, it doesn't really matter what color they are because 
the ever-bearing strawberries look different than the alpine. So I will be able to tell the difference between the two. So again, we're just gonna pinch off the, the piece and then just place it into our soil, giving it a good push. Even if you don't have any strawberries right now, I'm sure you know somebody with some strawberries. And I think, go and ask them. Hey, could I take some of your strawberry suckers? I want to start my strawberries for next year. So I still have some left. And rather than starting another tray, I thought I would just double up on some of these because they might not all take. And also because they are small, you know, I can easily fit two little plants into one. And so lastly, all we have to do is give them some water. I prefer to water where the lawn is because I don't water the lawn. So this is giving it a little bit of a drink and it's allowing me to soak them. And now I have 49 new strawberry plants that will overwinter outside and be ready for next year. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. God bless.